1994, an American photographer cycled across China and a documentary was made forging enduring friendships along the way. 27 years later... Well, here I am, <laughs> again. Come along. I've been back in the United States now for almost six months, not feeling at home, not feeling at ease. So I got a van and a gravel bike to cross America and see if my homeland really changed. Peter Cross, go. This is brand new, so I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I've never owned an RV. Singing in the rain. Am I crazy? When I first started thinking about um, about doing this uh, journey across America, I wanted to have the ideals of America show up first. The most important thing about Lincoln Memorial to me, uh, it represents freedom of him signing a proclamation that made it legal for someone like myself is to wear a uniform and take up arms and fight for my freedom and fight for my family. When I was growing up, my grandpa told us that don't ever call yourself Navajo. He said, right. He said, don't ever say you're Navajo. He told us that. That's what they named us. You're the ne. I feel like the spotlight is on Asians. And I feel like this, is, this class is empowering. And that's why I'm here. Yeah. Trump and Biden, I mean, we're more of a divided country now yeah. than we've ever been. You know, going back almost to Civil War. Jeez, where do I find America the Beautiful? It's like, what makes a difference what color your skin is? We all walk the same, we all eat the same, we all, you know, bleed the same. There's no difference except for a skin color. We continually have these tragedies happen across the country, but I think people will continue to pull together and it's just, it's scary that it takes a tragedy to pull us together. Yeah, how can we do it without the tragedy? I've come here to uh, acknowledge my own East meets West. Yeah, well, the why is that I want more um, the communication and more representation and more voice between East meets West. So I want Chinese bikers to join me in crossing America together. We've got to learn to listen. We've got to learn to communicate. We've got to find a path for peace.